Hi everybody, welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're gonna do a nice yoga for to release our lower back, to release our legs and feel good. It's important that we release our body, release the tension in our body and it's nothing about flexibility. It doesn't matter what, which flexibility we have, it's just to allow our body to extend stimulate the blood circulation as well. Today we're going to use a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use a yoga block as well, or you can just kind of roll a couple of blankets to elevate, to help you to elevate your hips. But it's important that we elevate the hips to really feel a nice release in the lower back and the spine. So whenever you are ready, we're going to start. We're going to lie down on our back. And first, we're just going to bring a, bend the legs and bring your hands onto your tummy. And we're just going to feel our breath. We feel the air coming in and out through the nose. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. And when you exhale, try to completely empty your lungs. So we inhale and exhale. And when we inhale, we try to bring the air below the lungs, not just at the chest area, but a little bit lower than the rib cage. So we go inhale and exhale. Completely empty your lungs, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And again, inhale and exhale. Just one more inhale. And exhale. And slowly we're going to lift our hips and we're going to bring our bolster under the hips. And here's when we really need this elevation of the hips, which is going to help us to extend our spine and our back muscles. So first we just keep our hips resting on the bolster. Keep your feet flat on the ground, keep your legs bent. And we're just going to bring the arms overhead. Only you feel comfortable if you feel it's a little bit more stress for your shoulders and your elbows. You just keep your arms beside your body, resting your hands on the bolster or on your tummy. And we're just going to hold here for four breaths. Try to press gently your feet against the ground. So we go inhale deep. And exhale, completely relax the areas you might feel tense. Let's go for a three, inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Exhale. And just one more, inhale. And exhale. Leave your right foot on the ground, then the left one. Bring your hands just under the knees. Make sure that your hips are really resting on your bolster. Bring your hands under the knees, and we're just gonna rest here without doing anything. Feel again the release of your lower back, and with the elevation of the hips, it helps us to extend more the lumbar area, and of course our spine. We hold here for three more breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. You will start to feel nice sensation in your back. Let's go for two more. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Exhale. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Release, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. As far as you can go, if you can extend them fully, you keep them slightly bent. You can keep your arms beside your body or over your head. And we're just going to go inhale, flex your feet, toes pointing towards to you. Exhale, toes pointing away without forcing. And let's go for nine. And away. Let's go for eight, away, 
seven, and six, and five, and four, and three. Out two out and just one more and out. Bend your leg, open your legs and catch on the back of the thighs or your thigh or your ankles or your feet. Just make sure that the sole of your feet are facing up and your heels are above your knees. We just hold here. Without forcing, we stretch as far as it feels good, but never when it's pain. And we just go inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for the three inhale and exhale. Let's go for the two inhale. And the last one, inhale and exhale. Please bring your knees together one more time. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling. Check that your spine is now sliding on the bolster so you always bring your hips back again onto your bolster. One more time, we'll repeat this one. Inhale, toes pointing towards to you. Exhale, toes pointing away. You can bring your arms backwards just to feel a nice stretch in your arms and your chest. So let's go. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for nine. Exhale. Let's go for eight. Exhale. Seven, exhale, six, exhale, five, exhale, four, and three. Two, just one more. Bend the legs one more time. Open your legs to a happy baby pose. You can keep your hands under the knees, holding your ankles or your feet. And at this moment, you already feel lovely releasing your lower back. Just relax your shoulders and try to just go as far as you, as you don't feel pain. We hold it here for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Two. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Bring your knees together. Drop your feet onto the ground one at a time. And slowly lift your hips and we're going to remove your blankets of your bolster. Bring your pelvis onto the ground. Lift your feet off the ground. Maintain the knees together. And we're just going to make a circle around for four, three, two, and one. We change the direction. We just go five and four, three, two, and one more. Back to center. Squeeze the knees towards to your tummy. Let the head come up. Feel the stretch onto your neck. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. 
Release your head on the floor, feet on the ground. Extend your legs, push your heels away. Reach with your fingers, but push with your heels away. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. And one more time, we bend the legs one at a time to don't force. Lift your feet, head off the ground, hands under the knees. Squeeze the knees towards your tummy, relax your shoulders, feel the curving of the spine. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. Release your feet and your head on the ground. Slide your feet, extend your arms, push your heels away. Take a deep breath, inhale and exhale. And one more time, bend your legs. Can be one at a time to don't force your lower back. Lift your feet, hands under the knees. Head off the floor, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Release your feet, extend your legs, bring your arms backwards, push your heels away one more time, and take one more breath, inhale, and exhale. We release, bend the legs this time, bring your hands under the head, push your elbows down, Drop the knees toes to the right side without dragging your feet together. Move your face opposite direction of your legs. Push your elbows down to stretch your chest. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back to center. Drop the knees onto the side. Push your elbows down. Move your face to the other side. Four breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go to exhale. Just one more. And exhale. Back to center. Release your arms. Lift your feet off the ground, hands under the knees, head off the ground, and we're rocking by one and forward to come into the sitting pose. From the sitting pose, just roll onto the side, and we come onto all fours position. Shoulders above your hands, hips above your knees, and let's go into cat and cow. Inhale, cat stretch, and exhale, cow stretch, lifting your tummy, tail out, chest out. And let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go two. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back into neutral. We lie down on our tummy. Keep your shoulders above your elbows, palms on the ground. And here we try to, don't do anything, but we're going to activate our muscles. And in that way, still we can stretch. We can have a nice back bend. But it's not going to put us too much under pressure. Mori, we are beginners. Or we have a little... Um, our flexibility still is, is a little bit tight, so it will help us to go on back bends without any pain, any discomfort in your lower back. So from here, just keep your shoulders above your elbows, spread the fingers on the ground, press with your feet on the floor to elongate your thighs and engage your leg muscles. And we're going to have the sensation to pull the pubic bone towards the belly button, so you feel the stretch of your tummy your six back muscles, and you can stretch it upwards towards your chest. But you need to keep your legs active, pressing gently your feet on the ground and pressing with your fingertips. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. 
and exhale. Try to engage your tummy. Let's go for three. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. Exhale. Release your chest onto the floor. Let the face rest in one side. Bring your arms beside your body. We're just going to hold here, pressing gently your pelvis on the ground to release your lower back. And of course, we feel lovely releasing our neck. We hold for four breaths. Inhale deep. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go for two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Bring your face other side and release your neck. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Relax, releasing your back and your neck. Two. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Back to center. Bring your hands beside your chest. Push your body up. Extend your arms, arching your back. Don't worry, the hips come off the ground. Push your elbows in and roll the shoulders backwards. And we take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Back again on two, all fours. We go all the way into child pose, feeling that nice, that lovely release in your lower back. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Keep chin and chest to release your neck. Let's go for three. Inhale. And exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Back onto all fours. Bring your right hand behind the head. We twist toes to the right as far as we can go without swinging the hip to the side. We hold for four. Inhale, feel your back muscles. If you feel tension in some areas of your body, try to don't push hard. Just relax and release with the breath. Let's go for three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two. Exhale. And just one more. It's good. Release. We change our arm. We twist to us to the other side. We hold for four. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Two. And just one more. We release. Roll the toes under. And we go all the way downward dog. So we lift the bum up towards the ceiling. Extending our arms. Without forcing our legs, our heels. Then we just go, inhale, heels up, exhale, heels down, and come up, and down, and three more, down, two, down, and just one more. Release your knees onto the ground. Sit in any comfortable position you feel. 
feel good? <laughs> How you feel? It feels good. Yeah, release now. Roll with your shoulders backwards. Bring your chin and chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. And remember that it doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour. Release your body. It will help you to release stress. Stimulate the blood circulation in your muscles. Of course, lend your muscles so it will give you more mobility. It doesn't matter about flexibility. We just think in mobility. We're going to end having the hands together. And we're going to inhale, arms up. And we're going to exhale really deep through your mouth and we bring the arms down. But make it with intention. You inhale everything you really want, harmony, peace, love, serenity, understanding. And you exhale deep and strong all the things you don't want. Anger, misunderstanding, uh, resentment, all the things you don't want and you don't need. So let's start hand spray position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Let's go for two more. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back, pray position. Thank you to join us. And give us a like if you enjoyed the class. And follow us as well on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio. See you again. Namaste.